Hey, what is going on guys? Sporty Clash here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video and welcome to, I personally think, I'm, I've never used it yet, but from the videos that I've seen, welcome to possibly one of the best equipment in Clash of Clans history. Well, for the queen specifically, for, for the queen. Anyway, I got the brand new Frozen Arrow from the, obviously, the Dragon Metal event. Or the dragon event and if you haven't gotten it i highly recommend you buy it because you're only going to be able to get it through gems in the future if you don't buy it now so please buy it now as you can see sold out frozen arrow there it is now you may be wondering why did i wait so long to record this episode i could have bought it a long time ago and well there's two reasons for that one i wanted to do a mass spending spree with the dragon medals because well i think that would be a really cool idea and i actually ended up doing it and we upgraded a lot and you'll i mean you see some glimpses now and you i'll give you a hint i maxed out the queen okay i'll give you a hint but that will be tomorrow's episode that is the full loot spending full upgrades and stuff like that in today's episode we are focusing on specifically the frozen arrow and we're going to be upgrading it as high as it can go because let me tell you something okay i'm gonna tell you a little story here with the fro or with the queen i have had the biggest struggle finding her second equipment for the king the giant gauntlet and the earthquake boots solid i love that i actually preferred the king over the queen for a while because of the equipment the grand warden i kind of i kept it the same i mean nothing crazy there changed and then obviously the royal champion it's the same exact thing i was struggling so much to find the queen's second ability the second uh, equipment i tried the healers i hated it i was like what is going yes it is active right now but i liked it better than the giant arrow i was like they need to come out with something that would be really good for the queen and i think i found it so as you can see here is the frozen arrow as you can see from the gameplay video that we're showing right now don't worry we're going to show it in game in just a second it slows down the defense. Game breaking. Absolutely game breaking. And as you can see, and this is also why I wanted to wait to record this. I have 22,000 shiny ore. I'm going to try and upgrade this to the max level. That's how much I want this frozen arrow to be successful. If it is not successful, I might just not be happy, but I know it's going to be successful. So that's why I really wanted to showcase, or I wanted to wait for this episode because I didn't want to show it at level one. I wanted to show it at possibly the highest level. So let's get started with this. Here we go. Just, me oh, what did I do? Okay. What? Okay. Let's equip it first, I guess. So every time, so level two gets a DPS increase as well as slow down duration. So it's going to slow down only level two here we go let's see oh slowdown is now 35 percent of a slowdown let's just keep going okay it does not a dps increase i really don't know i guess it like increases oh we're going up to 50 oh one second slow duration i like it five 40 percent slowdown 40 percent slowdown oh dude this is gonna be insane and the dps upgrade is just continuing okay 18,000, it's going up to 45%. Dude, these these uh these specific ones are killing me. I want to get to 50 50% slowdown. Oh my goodness. This better be a game breaking. Here we go. 99% DPS increase. Come on, let's get to one more. Let's go. 55% slowdown. Oh, that's all I'm going to be able to do. 55% slowdown, but we're getting it to level 16. We went from level 1 to level 16. I still don't know what the max is, by the way. What is the max? So we have a 55% slowdown, guys. I've, okay. I forgot to tell you guys. I've been attacking nonstop for the last 24 hours to try to get this event done as quick as possible so that I could you know record and upload this as quick as possible so i'm kind of tired of attacking but i i'm kind of excited now so look at this attack log like every four minutes 53 minutes 59 minutes an hour seven hour 14 it was like every five to seven minutes 
I was attacking for 24 hours. At work, I was like, <laughs> let's get into this. This is going to be so exciting to see. Um, we're at 4,905 trophies. I have a max queen, so that will be in a future video as well. Um, let's see how this goes. Let's see if this really changes. I'm not... Now, I have been attacking for the last 24 hours specifically for those red envelopes. I don't care about those red envelopes. I want loot. And specifically, I want Dark Elixir because we need to upgrade the World Champion. That is the last one. As you can see, at the bottom, 95, 95, 70, and 43, unfortunately, for that World Champion. So let's get started on this attack. Let's see the difference. We're going to be, we're not probably going to do a great attack because we're going to be focusing so much on the Queen. So we'll see how this goes, but I specifically want to get to that Dark Elixir. Um, let's clear the area around this so that we don't have any trouble. But this is going to be still... I want to see the difference. I mean, it's going to be really hard to see, but we're going to have to start spamming attacks now. All right, the Queen is off, and I'm actually using the um, Frozen Queen as well, which is kind of nice. Okay, so the that was the ice. That was the ice. Oh, gosh. Wow. Okay. This is going to be really hard because my Queen's kind of in there. <laughs> It's kind of difficult to see i'm not gonna lie and i'm so used to spamming the attack instead of like actually like trying so it's a little weird but it's okay um let's see let's just poison that uh royal champion over there where's my queen where's my queen there she is okay here we go let's keep tabs on the queen so she froze so she freezes even the normal stuff but let's see so with the dagger or with the digger as well i think that's his name um i forget his name but let's see here we go he's coming up on some targets oh the royal champion kind of just shut that down there's no way. Now, I can't see what my other troops are doing right now. I'm mostly focused on this. But this is really disappointing because we're not running into any defenses. But I definitely know we will in just a second. Now, this should take a little bit because the wall... That's a whole different video. Our wall's worth it. Town Hall 16 wall specifically. That'll be a whole different video. But here we go. Let's see the difference. We're going to come out on all of this defense. I want to see. I kind of set myself up for this. But I really want to see how this works. Like, as in, like, what the difference could be. So here we go. The multi archer is locking on. We got to get the queen in there so that they could slow it down. Here we go. Oh, that she's still, dude. She would have probably been dead right now without the scatter shot. That's nice. Hold on, we got to use her ability pretty shortly. I'm gonna use her ability here. So it's just invisibility and a DPS increase. So nothing. That's really weird to see though. Um, let's see. So she's slowing down. That scatter shot is definitely. I mean, she's not taking damage from anywhere else though which is pretty crazy. So unfortunately not the best, best view because the scatter shot kind of took out the queen and my queen couldn't target the scatter shot, but we're going to do another attack here. Um, got some good loot. I think I got all the dark elixir here, but we're going to do another attack here and hopefully this one runs a little bit smoothly, but you guys know what it means. Uh, let's see that has 8k dark. I want that. So we're going to use this and use that. I'm sure she gets mixed in with like all the stuff going around like like when i spam my attack so that's probably why we can't see it like significantly but let's just see how it works here so we got we're gonna send in the queen pretty shortly just want to send in get rid of the outside stuff my normal attack strategy you guys know my attack strategy by now i've been using it for almost four town halls now or three town halls and it's been absolutely amazing love every second of it all right, we're going to spam the attack. And we're not going to focus on any other troop. We're going to actually, well, once I get into the center here. All right, there we go. Now, it sucks because I probably could 3 so this if I was focusing on the other troops. I'm going to freeze those invisibility towers. It still went off. All right, let's see. What, let's look at the queen here. So she's mixed in with all this, so we're not able to see it fully. But I want to use my king ability here because, again, the king ability is amazing. Okay, so she slowed down. She slowed down that giant cannon or the ricochet cannon, which is really nice. And then we got um it's just let's see what the king's over there, dude. King's taking a beat. All right, here we go. Can that rule champ champion get over there in enough time? Nice. Save the king there. <sighs> Come on. Queen, get in there. But she can't be targeted by like stuff. That's the problem. Oh, I forgot the royal champion ability. Okay, so here we go. We might get a three star for this, but this it's gonna be tough i'm not able to maybe the we can take some stuff out here gotta slow some stuff down 
But you guys seen those like type of videos. I'm trying to like really focus in. So she's freezing that. Would have froze that. Where's she going? Where's she going? Oh, she's going towards the expo. Here we go. So it's going to slow down the expo. There we go, guys. And then we're going to use the ability. Okay, well, she used the ability herself there. Um, could slow down. Oh, nice. Oh, got hit by a giant bomb. But you guys saw it slowed down the expo, possibly saving those super bowlers to continue the attack. I promise you, I'm not trying to stretch there, but you guys know what I mean, though. It slows down the enemy defenses, and it's a game changer in some attacks. Maybe not so much my attack, but there could be situations where she is all alone. You guys have seen that a bunch of times where she really is by herself. And there's a king there. I did not see that king. He's probably going to take out the super bowlers. But with that, um, with that expo, it slowed down and it possibly could have saved the Super Bowler's life to where it continues the attack like we're doing right now. Unfortunately, the Super Bowlers are getting absolutely killed by this 91 King here. But is it going to survive? See? Gain some extra loot. I think it's a phenomenal Frozen Arrow. is still one of the best. It's going to be my go-to, especially when the Queen is just by herself needing to take out a bunch of those. I think it's super useful. What do you guys think? I'm so excited for this. I maxed it, or I almost got it to level. <laughs> I almost got it to level 16. From level 1 to level 16 in a matter of a minute or two. Pretty impressive. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.